Since the introduction of the Food Information for Consumers Regulation in December 2014, we now have a legal responsibility to provide information to our customers about any of the 14 allergens found within our food. This starts back of house, where the chef completes the allergy recording form on a daily basis. We then move to our team briefings, where this information is relayed to the staff members so that they can talk to the customers, which is perhaps the most important part. Whilst we need to inform the customers what's directly in the food, it's actually really important that we talk to them about how we use these ingredients in other dishes and actually generally within the kitchen. Some of you will deal with customers with food allergies almost every day, and others perhaps less so. For us at Gather and Gather, by putting the customer at the heart of everything that we do, this is just another step that we're taking to ensure our customers are safe. We know it's a big responsibility and we know it's quite daunting. So we've sent head chef Ben out to show you some ways you can communicate to your customers. The most common form of food allergens are dairy, gluten, eggs, nuts and fish. While medical researchers are baffled as to why there's been such a sharp rise in cases over the last decade, one thing's for certain, if you do suffer from a severe allergic reaction known as anaphylactic shock, you're going to need immediate medical assistance. As caterers, we have a legal obligation to provide as much information about our food as possible. Today we're going to look at some of the best ways of doing this. We're here in High Street Kensington to see Johnny Breakwell, one of our Gather and Gather site managers. Johnny, thanks for having us today. Um, you've got a food allergy yourself, could you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so I'm allergic to gluten, which is found in wheat, rye, barley and oats. So obviously when you're going out to eat, you have to be very careful about what it is you're, you're eating. Yeah, I'll always let my server know that I've got an allergy um, and hope that they can give me information on what I can eat. So it must be frustrating if the server can't tell you what's in the food. It's not so much frustrating. The worst thing they can do is just shrug off the question. I don't mind if they don't know, as long as they find someone that does. Oh, so you don't mind if they don't know, as long as they can find out the information you need? Exactly. All I need is the information so that I know what I can eat. Johnny, thank you very much. To help us deal with our customers and their food allergens, we've got a few clips to show you. Let's check out our first one. Excuse me, um, I'm allergic to eggs. Have you got anything on your menu today that's egg free? Don't really know, to be honest. Is there anyone that can help me? The manager's on their phone at the moment, so I can't really tell you, sorry. Oh, don't worry about it then. OK, so let's go through some points. Firstly, eye contact. This is really important when dealing with customers. It helps us give that level of confidence that we know what we're talking about. And it's something that we evolve in our Cake Module 2 training. Confidence is obviously very important. Our server didn't really know the answer, which is OK, but didn't really ever find out the answer that the customer needed. Also, time. Allergen sufferers are happy to wait for that time to get the right answer, but they're not going to wait all day. Answers need to come quickly and concise. And lastly, alternatives. A lot of our food pre-packaged is branded with all the allergen lists inside it. So we need to give these options out as well. Let's see what we do in scenario two. Hey, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Oh, that's good. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm hoping you can. I'm actually allergic to dairy. Have you got anything that's dairy free in your menu today? Sure, I'll just check our daily allergen sheet. Great. Okay, so we have a uh, turkey and pomegranate roti, and it says it's dairy free. Although I do say that, our kitchen still uses dairy products. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Sweet, would you like the turkey? That'd be great, thank you. I'll dish it out for you. This is a much better example of how our service can deal with our customers' requests more efficiently. We have much better confidence and eye contact, making everything run much smoother. Our server checks the allergens with the customer, but then informs them that we actually use this allergen in our kitchen as a whole, giving the customer a much more informed decision on what they're going to eat. 
Lastly, the allergen folder is in the right place, it's relevant for the day, and there's no scrabbling around looking for bits of papers or asking people questions. This is done much better by the member of staff and we've given a much more efficient service to our customers. Let's check out our third scenario. there, how are you? I'm really good, thank you. That's good. Is there anything I can help you with today? I'm hoping you can, actually. Um, I'm allergic to nuts. Is there anything in your menu today that's nut-free? Yeah, sure. I'll just go get our head chef and he can talk you through it. Great. So, this young lady has a nut allergy. Okay, you right? Yeah. yeah. We do use uh, nuts in our kitchen on a daily oh. basis. We do have a vegetarian option today that doesn't contain any nuts. Okay. It's a tomato and red pepper frittata. Would you like it? Oh, that would be great, thank that's you. Sweet. This is an excellent example of how to deal with a customer's needs. Our chef and server are both eloquent, have good confidence and great eye contact. Even though the server isn't sure if there's nuts in the dish or not, which is fine, she goes straight to the chef to get the right information to give to the customer. Even though the chef informs the customer that there are no nuts in our dish, he also informs her that they are in our environment of the kitchen, which gives our customer all the information for an informed decision. We hope this film has been a useful guide on how to deal with your customers' allergen requests. Whether you're checking your allergen sheets or speaking to colleagues, it's good to know that we can give our customers an informed decision and make everyone as safe as possible. All the clips we've viewed today have been based around the lunch service, but it's important that we get that level of diligence through all our counters and coffee bars. That's pretty much everything we've got from the team at Gather & Gather today, but if you need any information or need to contact us, email us at info at gatherandgather.com. A good starting point for any allergen information you need is our very own Trade Simple. We've got all the links for our Gather and Gather approved sites and also links to the anaphylaxis campaign. We hope you use this as an invaluable tool for keeping your customers safe. Thanks for watching.